Alrighty. So uh, today we will see about actual EST integration with FI and then FI and then also ESD integrate with COPA. Okay. So you know what is COPA, right? COPA is a profitable analysis. Why they call it profitable analysis? Because um, it can derive your PNL, profit and loss statement by customer, by material, by product, by whatever it is. So think about this the dimension. It's a, you know, the Rubik's cube. If you flip the Rubik's cube, right? You can change the colors and dimensions. Otherwise the data is flat, all same colors, right? If you flip the Rubik's cube, you can basically say this customer, this combination, this distribution channel, this division, this sales organization, how much is my sales? Okay. And again, if you keep flipping it, flipping it, it's innumerable combinations, you will get it. And how you get it, that's how COPA does. Okay. In order to have the data available in multiple combinations, the data has to store in the multiple combination, right? That's what it is. So let's take a simple example. Right. So that's called um, what exactly COPA does. I'll just give you, um, I just I just tell you in Excel, let's do it in Excel first, okay? So, you know, typically, um, so this is this is this is how exactly a COPA report looks like. Okay, uh, we will get into the system and show you. But before that, how the COPA? What is the purpose of COPA report? Okay, so there's something called characteristics. Characteristics, and that means there's something called value field. So value fields are basically numerical dollars quantity. Okay. They call it value fields. Characteristics are, these are characteristics of a report, for example, of a business. So let's name some characteristics, right? Right. Customer. Customer group, right? Group is also not a, or or customer hierarchy, you know what's called hierarchy? Okay, yes, planning account. And then these are customer segments, okay? And then let's go to product. Product, okay, which is a skew. 